Hey, <coughs> y'all know what the fuck it is, your boy Reed Solo, aka Durfin, two time <coughs> Y'all know what it is. We here with a banger, motherfucker. That's my banger today. We got episode of one in Jacksonville. Um, Julio, Julio, Philly, Rico, Osama just got killed, and we finna dig into why he just got killed. Shit. Um, I was scrolling, saw a video on YouTube, and shit. Frankly, I just I'm talking about this bitch and let y'all hear it too. I ain't gonna talk when the plan. I'm gonna stop that bitch so y'all can, you know what I'm saying? Hit me talk and then I'm gonna play it back. Anything goes, I don't give a fuck about it. Let's get into it. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Well, they was just ringing them bitches. I ain't know, but they was just ringing them bitches. What with that? following tonight we're learning the name of the man who died in a triple shooting on the west side we're told julian house died in the tuesday night shooting at a shopping complex off of jamie's road jso says this was a gang related shooting house is a known gang member in today's video we have another sad update on the war in jacksonville a Jacksonville rapper named Rico Osama was just shot and killed in broad daylight, leaving a studio in his ops. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Like, this is my first time hearing about Rico Osama. I don't know who the fuck dude is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, rest up to him, cause like I ain't got no size in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not in that street shit no more. So, you know, I don't give a fuck who who, who don't like me, who, who who don't, you know what I'm saying? Who got a problem with me? I'm just pay my condolences and still say your stuff. Anybody, but I don't know. I know who he was. You feel me? So I guess we finna find out who he is. Come on. Territory. The saddest thing about this is that he just had a son less than two weeks ago. Before we break down exactly what happened, please be sure to like and subscribe. Folks said he just had a son. That wouldn't. He wouldn't be among the first when they had a couple kids and lost their life right after. Man, they gotta wake up at some point. We can't wake them up though. Let's keep going. Rico Osama, real name Julian House, was from an area of Jacksonville called Lake Forest. He was a member of a set called WAWG. WAWG consists We all we got, and that comes with K Shorty, um what's the dude that hang with K Shorty? Um not uh uh the cracker, cracker jack, uh little brother, um, and it's a couple of them other dudes, um the uh the dude who got killed on the interstate in the green mustang jake jit all them with we all we got it's more and shit um what's that nigga name kenny cap he just got out he did an interview say cheese he part of the all that we all we got shit yeah y'all really all y'all got because y'all boy ain't taking the edge right now man sorry to say that of many members that claim a block six block made famous by fulio and another set called bully gang Rico was the blood brother of the most well-known bully gang member named WAWG Max. As most of you know, Jacksonville has received mainstream media attention due to the beef Fulio has with another famous rapper named Man, they don't receive so much of that attention that it got DJ going wild, man. But see, people don't understand that uh, Fulio and them, Spinner Ben and them, all of them, y'all got y'all the one got the jit hot and see. That boy looking for a record deal, but this drill shit slowly down, so they killing each other for no reason. Young and Ace. To make things simpler for the video, pretty much all of the sets that I just mentioned. Oh, look, man, if you look in that video, there's a lot of people in that video right now. They, they gone, folk. They not here. I'm being honest. The beef. Young and Ace is a member of a gang called ATK, and many members of ATK also claim a gang called NHG, standing for No Hospital Gang. NHG slash ATK are cool with another gang called 1200 from the east side of Jacksonville, as they both- Uh, pause right there. Yeah, it's true, it is a gang, but 1200 is a hood. Let's, let's, let's get that correct, they're a hood. 1200 is a hood, it's a hood on the east side, out there Phoenix and shit. Okay, they got a gang cut circle, 187, 387 and shit like that. That's their gang and all that, you know what I'm saying, dream team shit. That, that's their gang, but the hood is 1200. Let go. Beef with all of the sets on Fulio's side. Prior to his death, Rico nearly lost his life in another incident over a year ago. Damn, eh, we're gonna 
Get up, come back. On January 15th, 2022, Rico Osama was performing at a house party and the ops were able to obtain his location. Following the party, three people were shot on Brentwood Avenue near Gulfair Boulevard. Two of them survived and one of them died. There's no sir. The people that were shot were members of WAWG. One of the people shot was actually Rico's blood brother, WAWG Max. People on the internet originally thought Max was killed in the shooting, but he was only hit in the leg and survived. The person that passed away was named Andre. You out before you even die. They be quick to kill you out before you die. Damn, nigga. Give me a chance before you motherfucking. Damn dead, nigga, let me pull through. Andre James, and he would tragically be pronounced dead at just 20 years old. People claimed that Dre was an innocent civilian, but unfortunately, he got caught up in the crossfire of the war in Jacksonville due to his friendship with WAWG members. Members of 1200. They said if you hang it with him, you get banged with him. That's crazy, that's crazy, that's a crazy combo. It's true though were allegedly responsible for this murder. Multiple members of 1200 went on IG Live and played a snippet of a song in which they hinted that Rico was the intended target of the shooting and Dre was caught in the crossfire. Check the news, I heard some stupid nigga died the other day. Supposed to be smoking, but I guess I'm smoking Dre. Supposed to be smoking Rico green ass, but hey, I guess I ain't gonna go to no Dre. more parties. I know you. From the time of the death of Dre till now, there's been non-stop murders and attempted murders. On January 28th, 2022, a member of A Block named Mitch, real name LaShawn Hall, was shot and killed. Members of 1200 while hey, Instagram- I, I, know, I know, I found out Mitch through J.Dot Breezy. That nigga wouldn't let up on Mitch. Him and got down walking with the chopper. Spin being out on them, they would not let up on me. Boy, that's how I found out who that was. I ain't gonna hold you, but keep going. Rest up to all these people that's dead. Live and took responsibility right after it happened. After that, around April of 2023, members of WAWG, Bully Gang, and Six Block took a picture at the gravesite of a deceased ATK member. That is some crazy shit, bro. That is some crazy shit. A lot of people say graveyard is this passageway, the portals, the spirit they walk amongst. So sometimes you gotta be careful what you do because that shit definitely come back on. Going to somebody's grave and dissing them and shit like that, definitely plays this effect. I ain't did no shit like that. I never intended to because shit, ain't no point of going to somebody's site and just, you never know who you gonna run into there. You never know what you gonna feel, energy. Like that shit just play a fact. Karma not real. Like y'all just get that right. Karma not real, but we have, we do have higher energies that play a part of things, so. Don't forget that. Let's keep going. And this caused ATK and NHG members to swear payback. Rico Osama was one of the people in the graveyard picture. Following that picture, a bully gang member named YBZ was shot and killed on May 17, 2023. Members of ATK and NHG claimed responsibility for that murder. After that, a WAWG and bully gang member named Jake Jit was shot and killed on August 16, 2023, while driving on the highway. ATK and NHG members. I said that earlier in the video in that green Mustang. You got killed on the highway in that green. Oh, not Mustang. Challenger, my bad, y'all. And claimed responsibility and hinted that the graveyard picture was their motivation. After that, ATK and NHG would take a loss of their own. Shortly after 11.45 p.m. on Friday, October 6th, someone called 911 after hearing gunshots in the area of Keelan Drive off Moncrief Road. When officers responded to the scene, they found two men shot and killed inside a car. One of the people found dead in the car was an ATK and NHG member named Antonio Tilly Jr., or Tilly for short. The other person dead in the car was the innocent Uber driver that was giving him a ride named Brian Grund. The crazy thing about the- Yo, y'all killed the uh, innocent Uber driver, bro. Y'all could at least wait on bro to get out caught up. Oh, I be saying, bro, you know it's jits that don't need hit because shit, they just shooting, they be shooting. They don't give a fuck who they hit and they trying to hit in and everybody with you. 
If they can't get you, they say this all the time. I can't get you, I'm gonna get to who with you. I'm gonna get to who close to you. I'm gonna get to who next to you. Next to you. Like, it's crazy. I don't know. The crazy thing about this is that a couple was arrested and charged with this murder. After the police went through their phones, the police discovered that the girlfriend named Diamond Harris set up Tilly to be killed. She lured him to a location under the guise of meeting to hook up. Watch these hoes. They sitting y'all up left and right. I told you a lot of this beef, a lot of this street beef started Way before, back in 2014, 15, before all this shit came about this war, a lot of this shit started from hoes, hoes, females, doing slimy, nasty, deceitful shit. And the beef, niggas, these jits inherited from their OGs and these rapping that niggas they look up to, and they don't even know this shit started by the female. Once Tilly arrived at the location, the boyfriend named Jaquan Mills shot up the car, killing both Tilly and Bryant. What's even crazier about this case is that the police discovered that the couple was paid $20,000 to commit this murder, but they have not yet determined who ordered the hit. Once news of Tilly's death came out, Rico Osama went on Instagram Live and started dissing him right away. We ain't gonna speed past that. I can't even say they were paid 20 bands to do that. I, I ain't even gonna speak on that. Niggas telling they something, something for seven. Y'all know what I'm talking about. On everything I love, everything Tilly Cheese States today. Everything Tilly Steve, uh, see, you got me fed up. Tilly Steve, uh, Cheese State all day today, do you hear me? Members of ATK and NHG promised revenge for Tilly, so all of the dissing Rico was doing would tragically make him a primary target. As usual in the streets, the cycle would swing the other way. They said it all the time, man. I'm telling you, man. They tell me this on 24-7, man. Man, they said it all the time, man. They said Tilly, they said it all the time, man. Man, I ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all keep going, man. On Tuesday, December 12, 2023, Rico Osama was at a studio on the west side of Jacksonville. The west side of Jacksonville is where ATK and NHG are from. As he was leaving the studio, a gunman wearing all black and a ski mask popped up and opened fire. Audio of the shooting was recorded on someone's ring doorbell camera. Rico and two other people were shot. This brazen attack was carried out in broad daylight around 4 p.m. The two other people shot are believed to be innocent and were caught in the crossfire. All three were taken to the hospital where Rico was tragically pronounced dead at 21 years old, while the other two underwent surgery and their conditions are unknown. Following the death of Rico, 1200, ATK, and NHG members have been dissing him nonstop. I started to get my Christmas card out to you, uh, but I just want to say thank you for all your support the entire year. Um, great win today, fellas. Took care of business. That's what we needed. Enjoy your next two days with your loved ones, everyone. But don't get too comfortable because we still got a lot of work to do. I'm trying to find Rico. I'm trying to find Rico. Who the f is Rico? Who the f is Rico? He can my dad's ego. Ah, right, damn, Rico. Put some more season on your ass. I got something to tell you, bro. What's up? Rico just died. Somebody else from our clique dead. What else is new, huh? We finna get in the store and diss these niggas. You ready? A diss song? Good morning, good morning, good morning. That nigga gonna lie, y'all. That nigga take shots. And Rico some but that boy look like. Yeah, I think it's twins. I see why they be beefing with each other. They be trying to be the real, the real goddamn uh, lookalike. Them niggas twins. Yo, everything on me. Yeah, we slide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that diss on call with that. You know what gonna happen like that? This hell no, you know that shit gonna happen to a gang. It truly seems like this cycle will look, never end. Boy, like. Members of Bully Gang, A Block, I and Six Block are swearing right payback. There. I hope no one else has to lose their lives to this war. Now, because of the senseless beef, a baby that was just born will no longer get the chance to have a relationship with his father. 
Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section. And please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I had to separate myself from that shit because it ain't neat. And 10 years down the line, when this shit steady going and going and going and going, bro, we, you know, we'll, we'll be the blame. So I can't be the blame for that shit. I played my part in everything and I ain't finna go down the line about that shit. I know what time it is, man. Reach solo. Out there, motherfucker. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Thank you for coming through. Hey.